hey guys we are back and in today's video i'll just be sharing my take on why i think first year of university is the most difficult whether you're zambian or not but yeah this is basically for those that struggle it's not for everyone some people find it so easy they ace everything and just you know get out get past it and everything but for those that do struggle, those I will call intelligent students that struggle in first year, I'm going to give my take on why I think this is so, okay? So the first reason is that's the first time or that's one of the few times you're actually moving away from home and having to take care of yourself. So it's different from boarding school where you are away from home but you're not taking care of yourself. It doesn't matter what you eat the cooks the dining hall they'll provide all that etc etc first year of university is probably the first time a number of people cook for themselves after having never cooked all their lives so that in terms of settling in and everything that kind of contributes to making everything more difficult because now you have to worry about about cooking about cleaning about you know washing about all these things about attending classes about being on time and it can go on and on and on and so it's it's a shift not in the sense of education but just in the sense of position and mentality and everything like that so it's a bit difficult in that aspect or well, that's one of the aspects that makes it a bit difficult because you're moving into a new place and you have to readjust yourself so even if you spent all your time at home cleaning and cooking and everything the difference is when you go to university you're not there to do that you're there to just like learn and pass but you have to do those things and so now it becomes a bit of a you know it becomes a bit of a struggle you overcook you overeat you sleep you so yeah all those things contribute the second reason which is probably more academic is the fact that most students don't know how to study now that may come as a shock because you probably ace your gces or ecz or igcsc or back international or whatever you may have written you probably ace that metric whatever you did you ace that you got your best grades you go into uni and it's difficult it's because you don't know how to study all this period all this while all you did was memorize and now the time has come for you to not memorize but rather know and so you find it difficult so you have to learn how to study yourself i remember when i went into uni i didn't know how to study i didn't know what exactly studying was obviously the word is something you grow up hearing you know about it but i didn't know how do I know I'm studying rightly? That's another thing that most people don't know. Because you would sit there for three hours and there's nothing really that's going in. So, yeah, you don't know how to study. You're doing it wrong as well. You're studying the wrong things. You're studying what won't you won't, what you won't be examined on. You're studying what the teachers never gave you. You're doing all this. You think you're working hard, but you're just wasting your time. And that's a trap most people fall into because in high school we do some more extensive research when you talk about uh, history when you talk about hitler you have one book but you have like so many books talking about hitler overall what you just need to know is his rise his fall what made him rise what made him fall his foreign policies and his home policies so you can read whatever books you can read different books and make your own essay based on those questions from all these different books but when you go to university if you do that 90 percent chance you may actually fail because it's not about that it's not really about that it's all about being able to understand what you're being taught in class and being able to do what you're being taught in class which a lot of people don't know a lot of people struggle with and so when the exam comes, you have all these theories from everywhere else, but you don't have the theories from the classroom. You don't have the theories that the professor was giving you. Those obviously are the most important theories. So if you don't have those, there's a really good chance you won't do very well in your first year. And once most people discover that this is the case, going forward, they just ace it, everything. They just do so well because now they know that, oh, I don't really have to bother myself and go extensive. All I need to do is know what we're doing in class and I'm fine. And it's, it, 
if you think about it, it makes it easy actually because because you if you notice ah funny story in fact when I was in university there was like this guy who was in a much much higher year than me and he used to drink like he drank more than anyone I ever saw in uni up until I graduated like this guy just used to drink so much but he was always the best student in his intake and even after he left professors would always tell those who would go after him to say this guy was good what are you doing why can't you be like him like like the Zambians and even just other nationalities they would use his papers as examples of how well the work should be done and so before he left obviously before he graduated I once asked him like so how do you always like you know do well how do you always keep your grades high and everything and he told me I just make sure to be where the teacher is in class I'm not ahead I'm not behind up until the point where the teacher is I understand everything and that's fine and so I was like oh okay but then when I went into my first year obviously I forget I forgot what he told me and yeah I just botched it but later on I did realize that hey I'm just wasting time if I'm going to start reading extensively all I need to do is know where I am know where the teacher is and up until this point understand what we've done regardless of how much it is if you know what you've done up until where the, the teacher is, you're fine. You are completely fine. And so, yes, so that's the second point. Most pupils, most students go in and they don't know how to study. They don't know what exactly they're supposed to be doing. The third reason is because of how much freedom you have. So, literally, that's why most students find first year to be difficult because you may be studying for so long you may be one of two types of students the one that studies for so long studies extensively and doesn't do too well or the one that finds it difficult to even study because you are doing all these sorts of things you're doing everything else you are sleeping more you're watching more series trust university is the time when people finish series in days like you find Grey's Anatomy 17 seasons and someone is done with it in two weeks okay like this person has class every day but they've watched Grey's Anatomy for two weeks so it, it's it's the amount of freedom that everyone has that makes it a bit more difficult to pass especially if you're easily swayed yeah that that will ruin you that will completely ruin you so you have to be rigid you have to be on your feet concentrate on what you're supposed to do have moments where you can yeah you can watch like five episodes of Grey's Anatomy if you want but that's after you know that you've studied and you know that you are at the same point as the classroom so yeah that's fine but if you're going to watch series or you're going to party or you're going to do whatever but like and you don't keep your grades up you don't keep your studying in check Ooh, yeah you're gone you're literally gone the fourth and final reason is probably the weirdest but it's because students give up that's why it's difficult it's difficult because you give up if you don't give up you realize once it's passed that it wasn't difficult it was easy but the fourth reason is just literally that a lot of students give up a lot of students are in university physically but mentally they're out okay like in fact funny story let me give you an example of me right when I was in university that's when I started making YouTube videos and you want to know why it's because I was sure I was going to fail I was certain that I would fail so I was like you know what if I do fail or rather when I do fail let me at least have YouTube, okay? If I can blow up on YouTube, get 1 million subscribers, get hundreds of thousands of millions of views, I start making money. Surely it won't be that bad when I go back home without a degree, but I have bank. Yeah, so that was my line of thought because I gave up. And that, that happens to a lot of students. They just give up. They are physically in university, but mentally they're not. Mentally, they can't wait to get out. They can't wait to just do something else. And it's not even because it's difficult, but it's just because of the weak mindset coming from high school. 
you have a weak mindset you need a strong mindset people with strong mindsets don't give up they don't quit they give up giving up isn't bad but they don't quit and i think that's that's the that's the difference i think yeah you could give up if you want just don't quit so if you give up and you quit yeah you're gone you're gone you will say first it was difficult you will fail courses you probably will repeat and everything like that it's because you quit if you don't quit you're fine you can give up you can get discouraged but just keep moving keep aiming to be where you where the class is where the prof in class is and everything will be good for you all right so that's basically my advice on this that's basically why i think a lot of people find first year difficult that's basically why i find, oh those are some of the reasons why i found first year difficult especially the fourth reason where you just give up i think i gave up as well i was just like oh my goodness this is so hard i didn't do this in high school i can't do this it's too difficult blah 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 you know like i i just gave up it was just so difficult and then the other reason um, that applies a lot, especially to me, is I never I never stayed with where the teacher was in class. I wasn't concentrating on where the teacher is and what the teacher is doing in class. I'm just concentrating on, oh, we have this topic. Let me read extensively about it, which is a very bad thing to do because at the end of the day, the person that's going to mark your exam is the same lecturer who's telling you what they're teaching, who's teaching you. That's the one who's going to mark your exam. So if you don't or you aren't in the same place as them, then 